Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, and today is Sewing Talk Tuesday. Sewing Talk Tuesday is when we get together and I show you some of the projects that I've been working on throughout the week. And also we discuss sewing things or craft things. It doesn't always have to be sewing and quilting related. So there is that. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, I hope everybody is um, getting ready to celebrate the 4th of July if you're here in the United States. Um, I know we are probably gonna have a pretty low key 4th of July because my puppy is afraid of the fireworks. So <laughs> makes it kind of hard to leave her and you know, I just don't wanna do that because she gets terrible anxiety and just freaks out. So it's gonna be a pretty low key 4th of July for us, just like it has been for many years because we've always had dogs. <laughs> and they always seem to be terrified of the fireworks. So anyway, um, today what I'd like to talk about is something that I actually came up with and worked on on my own. This is my very own pattern. Um, before I share the pattern with you guys, um, I need to make sure that um, it it's gonna fit. So I wanna make sure I have sizing correct before I share it with you. Um, I'm also going to be making a bunch of these and putting them in my Etsy store. So if you are someone who likes to watch sewing but you don't want to sew it yourself, um, I will have these available in my Etsy store. And my link for my Etsy store is down below in the description box. So if you wanna go in there and take a look around, you can. I've only got one item in there currently. Um, I'm in the process of making things so that I can put them in the store, okay? All right, so here it is. Ta-da. It is a bandana baby bib. And I made it so that it could coincide with this cute little dress that I showed you all last time that I've made. So I'm making this set for a, a client of ours. I think I've, I've shared that with you. I'm also making them a quilt. Um, we've known them for years, their friends and their clients. So um, that's what I'm working on currently. And so what this little bib does is it closes. Now this one is messed up because this is my practice one, okay? So right there, it should be to right here, like that. It is also reversible. Like that. And like I said, it should be out further. So I'm gonna explain to you <laughs> what I did. <laughs> so I will show you. So I bought these nifty little <clears throat> cam snaps okay and I really like this size of the cam snap but for some reason when I go to put these on my fabric and this one you can see I was trying to take off um, for some reason the male and the female it just doesn't connect for me so I don't know if it's the snaps themselves that I that I purchased or if it's just me but I was able to use the big one, the bigger cam snap, that one, and that one worked just fine. So I actually think it's these little cam snaps that I have. So I'm feeling like those are gonna go in the garbage can because I'm so frustrated and so mad about these. And I even sat down, do you see I have them separated? So I sat down and I put all the males in one box and all the females in another box. But when I pull a female and a male out to put them on my project, they don't work. <laughs> so those ones may be just going away. I have some gray ones too, which are really cute. Let me just pull them out. They're really, they're small. Um, So there's the little gray one. And here's the, the 
there's the other piece that fits inside of this. So, <clears throat> make sure I put it back in the right spot. I don't want to confuse myself any more than I already have. Um, so you use this in your fabric and then you put this through the hole in your fabric and then you put the little snap on there. And you use these pliers. I'm gonna show you, so don't worry. And I am gonna do a tutorial on this bib as well. So I will show you how to do all of this, but today we're just talking, okay? Um, so there's that. This little tool is very, very sharp. Trust me, I've already rammed it right through my finger twice. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? So anyway, um, and my hair is freaking out again, I see. Um, so this you would shove through the fabric. So you just poke a hole, you, you find out where you wanna go with this, and then you just take it and you put a hole in your fabric like that. Now see, I'm just, this is just a practice piece, so. And then I would do it on the other side, and then I would put in those little snaps, and bing, it's done. So that is what I have worked on. This is the little, the little pliers that you squeeze into to put this on, to put those um, little snaps on. So what you would do is you would take <clears throat> this end here and you wanna cover your, well, if I can get with the program, I'll show you. So you wanna put this black part over your snap, over the top of it, and then you line it up and then you press. And it just presses it in and it locks it in there and it's really, it's great, works really well. So that is what I have done. Not really much of anything. Um, this is how I made the pattern for it. It's just a triangle. So, um, I, but like I said, I wanna do the sizes. So if I can get this down pat, then I will go ahead and create a PDF pattern and put it on my website where you can get it for free if you're interested in making something like this, give me a couple days. It is a holiday weekend, so, or a holiday week, so things are gonna be a little bit crazy and busy, even though it's gonna be low key around here, still gonna have probably a barbecue and whatnot. Um, but I think that's it. That's all I have for Sewing Talk Tuesday today. So things have just been kind of a little crazy. I haven't been really able to come down into the craft room and work on really anything. Um, I did learn something new though. My sewing machine. Oh, love my sewing machine. So, um, I had the needle or, oh my goodness, not the needle, the knee lifter on my sewing machine. And I just really felt like that knee lift kept getting in my way. It was driving me crazy. So one day, when I was quilting, I just pulled it off and I was like, I'm done with it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna deal with it anymore, right? And I know there are people who love theirs. I hate it. It drove me crazy. It was in my way all the time. So um, I found out that my sewing machine has a little button that you can push and it does it for me. So every time I wanna turn a corner or every time I stop, my foot lifts, automatically lifts with the needle down in the fabric. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that made me really happy. So it made it so much easier when I was sewing this because I was able to go around the little corners and just, I mean, almost perfectly. It was just, it just made it with such ease instead of constantly having to stop and lift the presser foot and fiddle with all of that stuff so <clears throat> yeah so that's it for today on sewing talk tuesday thank you for joining me if you would like to follow me and engage with me on social media the links are down below in the description box don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and every time that you click that little bell you'll get notified each time that i upload a video so 
I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July if you are in the United States, and I will see you on Thursday. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.